Welcome everyone to the Death by Cold Steel Report. Just as I begin to say to myself, you know, maybe the uh, Jason real life, uh, Friday the 13th real life Jason attack series are over. Just when I begin to say to myself, you know, this 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 obsession with donning the mask and taking out a long bladed weapon and attacking people is over there's another story it just never ceases and like you've seen in the beginning this time it's in London again I don't know what it is up there in London and the obsession um, and the, the worship of putting on that mask and going out ready to hunt some people. <laughs> I just don't get it, man. <laughs> this is, this is, and, it, and it's not, you're going to see in a moment. Let me just get to this. Okay, this is coming out of, get rid of that. Let's go up here. This came out of the uh, expressco.uk uh, news. Um, and it says computer science graduate caught carrying samurai sword in the street is, is facing jail. Now wait a minute, stick with me. That's what I read at first too. A graduate who went out late at night carrying a samurai sword has been warned that he is facing jail time. So they caught somebody and there's a picture of the, the blade he's got in his full tank. Now remember, he's a graduate of a computer science class. That means he has at least calculus three level uh, mathematical skills. This is someone who has the ability to process a large amount of information and take abstract uh, formulas and calculations and make them presentable in a usable format like the computer you're using now. Someone that, that has a high level of intelligence. But that doesn't bar people from being a little law for a little, uh, you know, kooky, crazy, however you want to say it. But, I mean, this sort's full tank, it looks like, so it's well put together. It ain't hit you with it, it ain't going nowhere, it's going through you. Then you read the name, Abduli, Abduli walked around the streets with a two-foot-long sword weapon in a bag wearing a Friday the 13th Jason-style hockey mask. So he donned the mask. And he was out looking for some victims, some prey. <laughs> I mean, you guys remember the last one in uh, London, in the northern area as well. Um, they went busting through somebody's door with the, uh, you know, he had the, the Jason X, Jason 10 mask on the 10th uh, movie of the series. And they attacked the gentleman through his front door. You know, he had a camera crew with him. <laughs> this is this is this is absolute madness. Um, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. If anybody can tell me what's going on up over there in London, uh, what is this obsession with donning the mask? Let me know. But let's finish up with this story. He later claimed that he was carrying the sword for self-defense because he was he had been stabbed twice before. A graduate, of computer science class. However, today a judge dismissed his pleas that he had taken to the streets in fear, telling the youngster he will be going to prison for this serious offense. Hmm. The 21 year old was amongst a group of young people who intimidated passerby as brandishing bricks and sticks in the early hours of Friday morning. And Microsoft is importing people here in America to go work. Uh, for their country, work for their uh, company, and he's a graduate and can't find a job, and he's out there with bricks and sticks. So he graduated. He he went out and purchased a mask, a Friday the Thirteenth mask. Got a sword and went out looking at night. This ain't during the daytime, so he went out looking for prey. A court was told. Uh, a court was told how scared neighbor, neighbors called the police after spotting the group of uh, spotting the group milling about in the Islington, North London 
When police officers arrived, Abdulli fled, dumping the sword and hockey mask, which was like the one worn by Jason Voorhees in the classic horror film. And hence you have the picture. He was he was captured, and he said that I'm not mentally ill. I'm not a terrorist. Oh, he's out there milling around with people looking for prey. And he's got that horror mask on. That mask and that sword and those calls tell you everything you need to know. That mask projects an image to people. You're going to be hacked to death and you're going to die violently. Um, and then he's got the tools to carry out such uh, thoughts um, and such actions. Luckily, the police caught this guy before it got out of hand. Well, I don't want to make this video any longer than I have to. Um, and it's just amazing. You can read the rest of the article yourself. But I wanted everyone to take a look at that. Seattle 206723, and I'm out. But this is the one you've been screaming for. <laughs> Friday, the 13th, the final chapter. Jason is back. He moves like a shadow, dark and silent. Sorry, you change your mind? He never utters a word. He doesn't even seem to breathe. Where the hell is the car, Scrooge? He simply, mindlessly, <laughs> mercilessly, <laughs> kills. But now, Jason's reign of terror is over. Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Jason's unlucky day.